Welcome to a brand new episode of Building an HO Layout. Let's get started. Today we're going to be paving some roads. We're going to be paving Magnolia Street and Lincoln Ave. That also includes paving over the track. So to start out, we're going to remove our Dairy Queen. And I'm going to be using this wire brush just to roughen up the foam so the smooth it sticks to it a lot better. Now instead of using Woodland Scenics paving tape, I'm going to be using this Pop Dot tape that I got at the Dollar Tree instead. So here I'm just lining up the tape to prepare for the rows. And using an X-Acto knife to cut some of the tape. Here I'm putting some masking tape on the end just so the smooth it doesn't fall off the table. I'm using some popsicle sticks so we can elevate the smooth it up onto the track. Here's the final product and they're simply just going to go here and it's going to give it a nice little elevation so we can smoothly have the smooth it go over the track. Now using some tacky glue, I put them in place and I wipe away any excess glue. Here's the exact brand that I'm using. So as I said many times before, we're gonna be using Smooth It and Woodland Scenics Top Coat Asphalt. For the instructions, we're gonna be wanting to use two parts Smooth It and one part water, but we're just gonna eyeball it in this case. And now to start pouring some of the smooth it. And now some over the track. So here I'm using a ruler to smooth it all out. You can easily glide it across the tape that you already have laid, but later on I use a popsicle stick just for a little bit more accuracy. And voila, it is complete. Now it's time to wait 24 hours for it to completely dry. And don't worry about imperfections, we'll be sanding it all down later on. Since the edges dried a little bit faster, we might as well scrape away some of the excess smooth it. And now time to peel up the tape. Just be a little bit careful when peeling up the tape just so you don't damage the road. Now using a fine grit sandpaper, we're just gonna sand away all the imperfections and excess smooth it. Here's the aftermath, and well, you're gonna want a vacuum nearby. So when it comes to the tracks, take your time and don't go too crazy because you don't want to ruin the track. Now after a little bit of sanding, the smooth it does reveal the track from underneath. Now I'm going to keep sanding away until I see all the track. And then using an X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut on the inside of the track where the wheels go. Just so the train and the freight cars go through it smoothly. And here's an example just to test it out and see if it actually works. And here it is, all pretty much complete and ready for some paint. Now 
Before I do any painting, I'm actually gonna tape it down. Although I do know the foam is gonna be covered up anyways in the future, it's just me being OCD and just wanting to be a perfectionist. And there it is all taped up. And like I said, we're gonna be using the top coat made by Woodland Scenics. And I'm gonna be using one of these black small brushes. And when it came to painting, I didn't overdo it with the paint. I put a little bit, and if I needed more, I put a little bit more. And here it is, all ready to dry, and it does dry pretty fast, so don't worry about that. And then the next scene, I will have painted over the part where the track goes. And there it is, painted and complete. And in the meantime, we're gonna be working on this road. This road is just made out of some of the dirt that I have, and I actually mixed it with some of the Smooth It to create more of a lighter textured dirt. And if you're curious on why I'm using the foam, I'm just using it to give me a guide on how big I want the road. And there it is, before some touching up and a little bit of detail, it's ready to glue and go. So for any other glue job, I'm gonna be using scenic cement and some isopropyl alcohol. So when peeling up the tape, I actually peeled up some of the asphalt, but it's not that big of a deal because I could just touch it up with a small brush. And here's another satisfying part is peeling up the tape. And now I don't have all these extra little paint marks all over the foam. And here's what we've got progress-wise so far. I'm gonna be doing some weathering and obviously drawing some lines. I'm gonna be doing a double yellow line down the middle, but that'll be in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you would like to see more, please like the video and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.